Well, look, it's Roik. Roik. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't see. Oh, crap. Hey, Roik. Hey, Maisie. This may be your first time here. Welcome to the Sinnoh's Underground. Huh? Where is this, you ask? Doesn't the radar, radar make it obvious? This is a giant un underground network of passages beneath, underneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing down in this expansionist place? It's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up treasure, spheres, and make a secret base. You can play with your friends down here, too. You should talk to the underground man in Era City. I have to go along. I have to get going now. I'll see you around. And he teleports away. And so we're going to go back up. I apologize that you can't see the bottom screen. One of these days I will make it so you can see the bottom screen and we'll go spelunking for a while. But until then, huh, I see that you've gone down to the underground tunnels. Well done, take this as a reward. Move trap, bubble trap. These are card traps. They're triggered when stepped on. The underground is a place where you can go with your friends. You might try settling, setting these traps when you're down with, there with others. Now, what should I assign you next? How is it in the underground tunnels? Big and empty, I think. I would think. But it's only because you are a novice spelunker. There are many hidden things down there that are only visible to the eye. For my next test, I want you to dig up some treasure or spears for me. While underground, check the radar for yellow spots. Go to such a location and search for the treasure using the touch screen. So we gotta go back down. I'm sorry that you can't see. I don't know if you want me to move the camera. If I move the camera, it'll be wobbly for me trying to play the game and holding the camera. So I apologize. I really do. So what you do is you take your little stylus, you walk around, and just pretty much press the touch screen trying to find the yellow dots up there. So there's some right about, mm, let's see, down here? Looks like it. Over, we should be right on top. Yep, there we go. There's something on the ground right here. I disengaged the trap, it's a whole trap. There should be something right here in the wall. The wall is bulging sadly. Try digging into it. Sure. Such something pings in the wall. Hmm? Oh, there's a note tucked into the explorer's kit. Here, I'll try. Let's see. Focus camera. For digging for treasures and spears, use the such hammer and pickaxe for explorer's kit. Use them and you'll be able to touch. Yeah, whatever. So let's go on back up so we can get out of this bad little situation here. Let's see if I can get y'all back in position. Let's see back a little bit. Close enough. Alright, so let's go back into the old man's house.
Huh, you dug up what I was looking for? Good job on finding it. Well done indeed. Take these as your reward. Got some fears. Dig into the walls of underground tunnels to unearth hidden stuff. Fossils and stones can be dug up and brought out from down under. Spheres, which are gems, can be brought out, but they can be exchanged for goods down there. Now what should I sign you next? My tests aren't over yet. Next, let us use some spheres. The spheres can make underground... Wait, let me back up a little bit. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. Can the spears one can find underground? Burn, they grow daily, a little bit a day. I want you to dig these strange spheres into the to the tunnels. This is my latest test. So we're going back down. And what he wants is for us to dig into the ground, place the spheres so they can grow daily. Do, do. So let's do it right where we pop up spheres. Let's do the biggest one, this 19 furry. There's a spirit right in front of you. I don't know if he wants us to dig it up, so I'm gonna place another one and dig it up. Yeah, I found it. the same thing I placed. Okay, go back up. That one didn't take too long. What do you have to say, old man? Good, good, you've buried your spheres. The next time you go to the underground, they should have grown bigger. Just don't forget that you've buried your spheres. Anyway, well done, this is your reward the digger drill. You may have seen them already, but there are sphere collectors. They wander about in the underground tunnels seeking spheres. They'll happily trade you items for big spheres. Now, what shall I sign you next? Have you grown weary of repeating going back to the underground? Well, it's not over yet. Next is your secret base. That's right, I'll teach you how to make your own secret base. All you need is a digger drill. I gave it to you earlier. Simply go underground and use the digger drill wherever you like. And it will instantly make your very own base. So, your next time it, go down and make your own secret base. Get out of here. Don't come back in my house until you have done so. Let's get this part over with. Save. Save all the data. I've made that joke three times, I think, this time. When am I going to stop? Never. Okay, let's see. Do I have to select a drill? Let's see. Mm, can I just click on the wall? No. What do I have to do? Treasures? No. Goods? No. Spheres? No. Traps? There's a special place I'm supposed to put this. Did I click on the wall? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know how to do it. I don't know. Traps, maybe? Oh, here we go. There we go. Yeah, sure, why not? So I got this little base thing, got this little flag inside and computer, got some rocks. So we made our base. 
Now we can go back up and talk to the old man. If you're wondering where the drill is, the drill is in the traps. I figured that out now. Huh, you made your secret base. Excellent. I thought I might have been asking too much of you, but you did it. Well done. Take these as your reward. A table. A wooden chair. And a small bookshelf. Well, aren't we fancy? Oh, we also got a Baneri doll. Incidentally, a digger drill can be on can be used only once. If you wish to move your base, you will need to obtain another digger drill. You can trade a sp spear for, wo for one underground. What should I make you do next? Huh, you stuck it out to the end. This is my final test. You've made yourself a secret base, but it's completely empty, is it not? Not to worry, you can decorate your base as you see fit. So, my final test, I want you to decorate your base. Use the furniture and interior goods that give your secret base character. So I'm gonna leave you here with that. I'm probably gonna go furnish the base just so to get it done since you cannot see what I'm doing. So, thanks for watching. My name is Maisie CO13 and I hope that you have a good day.